Alright, we're going to be playing uh, Persona 3 Portable on an emulator called PPV SSPP, run any PSP game. Works on PC and phone, and we're going to be doing it on a phone, because why not? Welcome to the world of P3P. In this game, you can select the gender of the main character. The course of the game will change based on the main character's gender. By choosing a male main character, you will be able to play a version very close to the original P3. This is recommended for new players who have yet to experience P3. The female main character added to this game is not just for female players. This is also for veterans of P3 and P3 FES who want a new perspective. Now please choose a gender. Obviously we're going with male. Begin the story as the male character? Yes please. We're going to do normal. Your choice will not influence the storyline. Choose a difficulty that fits your comfort level. Yeah, um, knowing Persona 3 in general and playing this game ever, I have played it. I just never beat it. Because I never had time to. These two I'm not going to even bother touching. These two, eh, I'm just not going to do. Normal mode, obviously. And yes, you cannot change it. Maniac isn't even worth it. I can't do a new game plus run. Characters aren't in storylines depicted in this game are purely the work of fiction. Well, well, I can't read all that that fast. I can read fast, but not that fast. Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. You, who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth without falter. With your heart as your guide. Terminal Station Evening. Station entrance buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere. I just put it to my head and pull the trigger. No chickening out. Inside the new city passenger train, Ana Hazaru. Due to a malfunction in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. Iwa 
Todai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please take care to board before our departure. You arrive late. It's almost midnight. That's not good. Oh, hey, look a clock. Cursed clock. Something about the atmosphere seems odd. Mm -hmm. It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. Yeah, I probably would too, I'm not gonna lie. As you walk from the station, you notice coffin-like objects lying in a deserted city. Yeah, I'd hurry to the dorm pretty fucking quickly if I was you. Or rather, if I was me. It's an eerily gigantic moon. Gagukan High School, Iwataida Dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. Let's go inside. Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. Hello there. An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to you. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Something is written on the paper. He's holding out to you. I choose at this fate of my own free will. Below it is a blank to sign your name. Hmm. You know, if we can fit it, I'm just gonna go with Makoto Yuki. Oh god, this is sensitive. Can I just... No, that doesn't work. Spell Makoto. I don't think so. Okay, no, I just looked it up. That is not how you spell it. It's with an A. Where's that stuff at? There we go. I'm an idiot. My last name, you say? Yuki. Oh my god, this shit's so sensitive. There we go. Not a J. Proceed. Yes, please. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. It begins, he says. The unknown boy disappeared as if melting into the darkness. That's not creepy Who's at all. Who's there? How can you be... But it's... Don't tell me. Wait. <gasps> Skip the line. The lights. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi. 
I'm Yukari. Hmm. Huh? Why do you have a fucking gun? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. In Japan? Well, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's Japan. The gun laws there don't it's even not exist a real because gun, of so of course. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. The most they can have is like an airsoft gun. And they have like the same gun laws. Just like more stricter on airsoft guns. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. My favorite. So, any questions? Hmm. Does that kid live here too? What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. You kind of doesn't even know what you're talking about. Um, Maybe I'm insane. Can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? Hmm. Yeah, I think I so. See. Never mind then. I see coffins well, on a daily basis. I better basis. get going. You know, sky's normally green. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Okay, good night. You can walk downstairs. That is my assigned room. Use the directional button, blah, blah, blah. I know all of this. Yay. Can we study? Oh, I don't want to go to bed. Okay. It's Yukari. Are you awake? Uh. Yeah, let's open the door. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? I can find it myself. Oh, are you sure? But you don't want to risk being late the first day, do you? Come on, hurry and get ready. They won't mind the first day you're always late. Yay. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is Probably my not. favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh look, you can see it now! Morning! Morning! Well, here we are! Welcome to Gekukon High. You're gonna love it here. Maybe. You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Uh, not really. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later. There are many people, blah blah blah. Shush game. Configuration. Auto text. Yes. What is this? Keep those on. Seems good enough. Now voices automatically do stuff. Faculty office. Oh boy. Oh no, it's not baby. He's annoying. Go to the office. Oh. Are you the new student? 11th grade, correct? Mm -hmm. 
Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents, <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Nice to meet you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. Okay. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... Sounds boring. Psst. Hey! You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. Hey, I have a question. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? I don't know. I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. So how well do you know her? I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. Now the whole auditorium's talking. What a classic. Homeroom is over. Your first after school What's session up, is dude? about to begin. How's it going? What do you oh, want? Oh, come on. Let me introduce myself at least. I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? No. Hey, it's Yucatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear, you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? It's just a coincidence. I know, but still, I was a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Hey, you didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? You know what? Don't tell me you forgot already. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, all right? What happened my last night again? What? B last night? Wait a minute. Don't get the wrong idea. Listen, I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez, I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. Okay. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. <clears throat> but hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. <laughs> this is going to be a fun year. I can feel it. Oh, yeah, it will. It'll definitely be an interesting year. Let's go home Whoa. with Junpei. Check out the jocks on the run. Say, uh, you thinking about joining a club? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. Yeah, yeah, small talk with Junpei Iori. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. I can save the game. Save time. Cory, what do you have to say for yourself? go to bed early. I forgot, that's a theme of Persona games, just going to bed. That's a good beat. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. 
They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Let's see. What rumor? Something about a bathroom. Not that one, I mean a story about the first year student. Not only did she come to school, but she just nothing but sit and stare at walls all day. What the? Her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, it's coming, it's coming. Hey, yo. I don't know how to feel about that. I'd believe it. Open your textbooks. And we'll take a look at the first novel by Zinzoi Kasai. Ugh, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubo Kabuda. He became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just have to bring Kabuto's book next time. Hey Junpei, are you listening? What did I say my favorite author? Uh, um... Psst. What does she like? Mm. I'll help him out. Damn. Damn, you're the one that asked me. I won't pay attention either. Why would you ask my dumbass? Let's go to bed early again. Oh, he's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? Ikutsuki. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Uh. You know, why are you here? To welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? I think I'll be fine. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> no one says that. He'll get used to his lame jokes. Early bird gets the worm, not the bookworm. Jesus, that skip fast. With a certain room in the dormitory. Working hard? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. <sighs> this sucks. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. Man threw away a whole ass radio. Who does that? Huh? What the? What's happening to me? <laughs> You're dead. No big surprise. Back at the room in the dormitory. Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, 
but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Master Makoto Yuki. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Hmm. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here, in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract, and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Hmm... This is a dream. Precisely. You are fast asleep in the real world as we speak. This visit of yours is merely a dream. However, you will come here of your own accord sooner or later. Hold on to this. Till we meet again. Okay, bye, Igor. That's true. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sitting at home? Mm, no. What? Why do you have to be all serious? The feeling of being completely recharged is awesome. But I'm screwed later since I didn't hear the lecture. Oh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty Old Kikoden. Yay! Can't be as bad as Persona 4, right? <laughs> I'm Mr. Oko. I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh how they're wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. I feel tired. I'll just stay awake. There's no reason not to. Hey, are you all listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Issei Madagari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story, you youngsters might call it the bomb. I, I can tell you people are zoning out. I stayed up and listened to lecture. Academics increased. There's really no reason to sleep necessarily. I mean, you feel great, but you can always go to a shop for that. Do you decide to go home with Junpei? Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we usually end up here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade, and oh, oh, this is where you come to rent out CDs, too. Then there's that club over there. But of course, uh, I've never seen the inside. So you bustling with all students on their way home. Welcome back. Yay. Alright, that's it for episode 1, considering it's almost 30 minutes long. Hope you enjoyed this first episode of Persona 3, and I'm gonna try and beat the game this time around. Um, I'm not looking forward to... Yeah, I'll explain that later, what I'm not looking forward to. Let's just say, it's the last... Well, it's not, it's not the final boss, it's... I guess you could call it a secondary final boss. Meh. Whoa. 
17 minute play time. Save complete back. Now it's like 30 minutes. See you guys next time.